YouTube world is Jamal McKinney or my nickname is Juice. You can call me that. Be sure to hit that like button right now. Subscribe to my channel if you love fire sports content. I post a ton of great sports videos pretty much almost every single day. Fun fact about me, I am an aspiring sports analysis who's looking to potentially own a big time sports network and do sports analysis, hopefully maybe on ESPN or Fox Sports 1 one day. But today, guys, we are going to be breaking down who are the top five quarterbacks in the NFL draft, and I'm going to tell you why I think each quarterback is ranked where I have them. So let's get started. All right, so at number five, the fifth best quarterback entering the 2019 draft is Daniel Jones. Now, Daniel Jones does not wow you on film. He doesn't even wow you when you watch his games. He does all the little things right, but I don't think he has a big, big ceiling. Out of all these guys I'm going to talk about, Daniel Jones has the lowest ceiling out of all these quarterbacks. Daniel Jones doesn't do a whole lot of flashy things. You know, he dinks and dunks a lot. You know, he, he loves to throw underneath routes, you know. He does take occasional shots down the field. Now, if Duke's wide receivers were a little bit better, I think he might have took a little bit more shots down the field. But Daniel Jones does not really um, take a whole lot of risk, you know. He's also not uh, necessarily a great quarterback, I would say. He's a decent quarterback. Um, You know, his arm talent is average, you know. He, his accuracy is okay, you know. His mobility is pretty above average, you know. He runs about 4 8 one, 40 yard dash. Uh, just Daniel Jones is just someone that does not blow your socks off, you know. He's not someone who's going to wow you with his throws. But he will check in and out of the right place. I do think he gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly. He won't necessarily turn the ball over a whole lot. But, again, just not a whole lot of wow factor for Daniel Jones. You're not going to ask Daniel Jones to sit, sit back and throw it 30, 40 times. Don't ask Daniel Jones to go in there and save your franchise. If you do not have a plan and you do not have a great offensive line, you don't have great wide receivers, and you don't have a great offensive coach, I don't think Daniel Jones can make up and, and hide a lot of things on your football team. You know, I, I look at quarterbacks, you know, I think elite quarterbacks are kind of like iPhones, you know, they can do it pretty much everything, you know, you don't have to buy, um, you know, a camera. Uh, I would not take Daniel Jones in the top 20 in this draft. I would take him in the second round, however, I think he's a decent quarterback. I don't think he has a whole lot of potential, but you know, I think he could come in the NFL and be an okay starter at best. Uh, Dan Jones throws the ball a pretty good touch, you know, down the field. But again, not a, bit, not a cannon for an arm. Like I said, give him in the second round, you know, put some pieces around him. He can work in the NFL. Drew Locke at number four. Now, Drew Locke is pretty much the opposite of Daniel Jones. He has a whole lot of boatload of potential. You know, Drew, there's a lot to like about Drew Locke. He's, has, he's got a big arm. You know, he can make any throw in the field, in my opinion. He can move around. He seems pretty durable. He's about six foot three, six foot four, about 220. Um, doesn't like arm strength at all, like I said. He makes NFL throws. He makes a lot of, a lot of wow throws. But, however, Drew Locke is very, very wildly inconsistent. Sometimes when you look at Drew Locke in some of his films and throws where you're like, wow. Wow, this guy might be the best quarterback in this draft. But then when you watch Drew Locke in some of these plays and some of these series, and you're just like, what are you doing? I mean, wh who is this guy? I mean, Drew Locke tends to make a lot of bad decisions with the ball. He loves to take shots down the field. He does not necessarily check it down all the time to, you know, keep the chains moving. He always looks for the big plays. Very bipolar. And when you're looking to draft quarterbacks, I don't necessarily think that you should go ahead and take Drew Locke in your top ten because he's just not consistent enough. You know, you need consistency if you're gonna get a if you're gonna draft a quarterback in the top ten. I think you need to be very consistent. He can make all the throws. You know, if he gets the right offensive coach or you know the right weapons around him, and he sits behind a, a starter for a couple games or even a year or two, I think Drew Locke can be a very good player in the NFL. But you know, the quarterbacks ahead of him are much more consistent good player i take him late first round probably early second round but drew lock's not someone who i'm gonna look to to change my franchise immediately um i think he needs a little bit more work all right number three i got will greer and i don't understand why people are sleeping on will greer i just don't i see some mock drafts where will greer is the fifth quarterback taken on some mocks i mean some people i'm like what are you doing oh what are you doing people are you watching the games are you watching the film i mean Listen, Will Greer, if you can get Will Greer in the second round, that's a steal in my opinion. Not, not necessarily a steal, but I think that'd be a great pick. I think Will Greer is a first-round quarterback in this draft class. Maybe not some other draft classes, but he's a first-round quarterback in this draft class. Late first-round pick, I would say. People are sleeping on him. First thing I look for in a quarterback is, are you accurate? Yes, Will Greer is accurate. 65% completion percentage for his career in college. He, Will Greer does not make a whole lot of bad decisions with the ball. What really knocks Will Greer, as far as NFL people look at him, is the fact that they don't think he has a great arm. And listen, Will Greer does not have the strongest arm. I'm going to admit that. He does not have the strongest arm. But his arm is good enough, okay? Arm strength is overrated in the NFL. I mean, let's look at the players that I think have the strongest arms in the, in the National Football League right now. You got Joe Flacco, 
I mean, he's wildly inconsistent. Josh Allen, Matthew Stafford, I mean, they're not great quarterbacks. Cam Newton, Cam Newton's just wildly inconsistent. Jameis Winston, don't even get me started. And then you got Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes, who are wildly, wildly exceptions and probably the most talented quarterbacks the NFL probably has ever seen. Does Tom Brady have the strongest arm in the NFL? No. Does Drew Brees have the strongest arm in the NFL? No. Does Phillip Rivers have the strongest arm in the NFL? No. Does Russell Wilson have the strongest arm in the NFL? No. So I can go on and on. See, I think he has good enough of an arm. Will Greer throws an excellent touchdown the field. You know, I'm not saying he has a cannon for an arm, but he has a good enough arm. He definitely has a good enough arm. He played best in his best games, you know, versus Texas and Oklahoma. He absolutely lit them up. Will, I think you have have to take him in the first round if you can. I think he's the third best quarterback in the 2019 NFL draft class. Up next, number two, I have Kyler Murray, quarterback out of Oklahoma. Kyler Murray is probably the best combination of a runner and passer the draft has ever seen. That's saying a lot. Now, he averaged seven yards per carry in college. That's something Michael Vick never even did. He did uh, Michael Vick did not average seven yards per carry in his college career. Kyler Murray obviously won the Heisman in Oklahoma. You know, he put up godly numbers. You know, his throwing mechanics are off the charts. Rarely do you see Kyler Murray um, having bad throwing mechanics. He has a good arm. You can make your offense very creative with Kyler Murray behind the scene. And listen, don't say Kyler Murray is a running quarterback. He's not a running quarterback. Kyler Murray is a throwing quarterback that looks to run when he needs to and can run and probably has about 4-4-4-3 four, 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 speed. Kyler Murray is off the charts. He puts the ball where it needs to be. He places the ball into tight coverage pretty well. Um, has enough arm strength. He has the most potential, I think, out of everybody. But the next guy, Dwayne Haskins, I think is the number one quarterback in the 2019 NFL Draft class. Here's why I think that. Dwayne Haskins is, is just different. Listen, Kyler Murray is great. I understand. And listen, I'm willing to be wrong. A lot. Of, uh, some people are saying Kyler Murray might be the best quarterback in this draft. And I actually think the Cardinals should take Kyler Murray with a number one overall pick because I think that if you, you know, bring in Cliff Kingsbury, who's raved so much about Kyler Murray and thinks he can turn him into a star, why not do it? And I think he's a better fit for what they want to do. But that doesn't make him the best quarterback in the draft to me. Dwayne Haskins was at was at his absolute best versus his toughest opponents. He was 6-0 versus top 25 defenses. So he has been tested in college. He has played against NFL secondaries. He's played against NFL players in college. Versus those top 25 defenses, 6-0, like I said, 20 touchdowns to 2 interceptions. He, Dwayne Haskins might be the smartest quarterback in this draft. I've seen him on the whiteboard. You know, they talked a lot about him. Kyler Murray, I think, is, I've heard from some teams that he struggled a little bit with the whiteboard. So I think Dwayne Haskins, you know, watching him, he knows how to read defenses. He does not turn the ball over. He does not force the ball into tough coverage, you know. Dwayne Haskins will throw the ball away if he needs to. Um, he's just a very smart quarterback. He'll check it down. He'll go through his first and second and third reads. Um... You know, if I could have someone's arm in the draft, I'd have Dwayne Haskins' arm. Because I think he has a borderline Drew Locke arm strength. While also being able to throw very, very accurately down the field. Drew, um, Dwayne Haskins is an accurate quarterback. He does not miss very many uh, throws. Uh, Dwayne Haskins complete a lot of different passes in college. I've watched a lot of Ohio State games because I'm an Ohio State fan. Um, he threw a lot of short routes. He threw a lot of intermediate routes. He threw the ball down down the seams on post routes. He just made a ton of different throws, and he completed almost all of them. You know, versus Michigan, probably the number one defense at the time. Absolutely lit them up. You know, versus um, Chris Peterson in Washington. He had a great game. Versus Northwestern, he had a great game. Now, Stephen A. Smith is going to tell you, oh, Dwayne Haskins is a better runner than thrower. I don't see that, Stephen A. Smith. But um, I do think that, um, you know, Dwayne Haskins can run for first downs if he needs to. He can run for about five, six yards. Will he be great to start? I don't know. I think that but I think down the road, Dwayne Haskins can get better and eventually be the best quarterback in this draft. Let's not forget, Peyton Manning threw 28 interceptions his first um, year in the league. Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers had terrible mechanics coming out of college. Um, Jared Goff, terrible his rookie year. I think that ultimately he could fit do any system and make up for a lot of mistakes. I think you can put Dwayne Haskins behind a bad offensive line. I think he can do good. I th I think he can make up for a lot of issues on your football team. Dwayne Haskins, I've seen him enough. You know, he's not, I, I think he's right in that Deshaun Watson, Baker Mayfield, Patrick Mahomes type boat. He's just that talented. You know, I've seen him throw, throw the ball 70, to over 70 times versus Purdue. Dwayne Haskins can throw the ball 30, 40 times if you need him to. He is a quarterback that you should not pay pass on and New York Giants I'm telling you if you pass on Dwayne Haskins you will regret 
it. But that's pretty much it for this video. These are my top five quarterbacks in the NFL draft. Be sure to give me your list of who your top five quarterbacks are. Tell me why I'm right. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why I'm wrong in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. This has been your boy, Jemai McKinney, Juice or G-Man. And I'm Ghost. And have a blessed day, you guys.